everybody. I've got a 60 minute follow up session I'm doing for a client. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check out that session. There was a what I would define as an alien entity, alien being. It's not your typical entity. It was unusual energetic relationship going on. So I had to take some time to analyze that and break down some energy structures in order to bring balance to this client's energy field. So you can imagine there's some really interesting questions that we're going to be exploring in this session. So I'm going to read the questions. The client and I, we talked about some other experiences, even with alien memories with alien beings and some fears about that as well. So we're going to be exploring these questions in the session, but I'm going to keep it open to to whatever, you know, this, however spirit wants to guide it. It's going to be such an awesome session. <laughs> okay. I'm getting myself balanced here. All right. I need to know that this entity has truly been removed from me and cannot come back. Is there something that I need to do in my human body to help heal? I has I have suffered from depression since puberty and debilitating anxiety. The last few years I have felt like I just don't belong here anymore. Is my depression medication causing that flatness you kept seeing in my energy or was it much deeper? Was this alien trying to turn me into a robot? I really truly want to be able to love life. I want to be able to use my empathy gifts to help heal others without draining myself constantly. Okay. So we'll definitely take a look. For me, I already feel like that is a, a done deal with that entity, but I will look and see. Because entity relationships are different than human relationships. Human relationships, they can drag on and on and on and on. And you can say, I'm done with this relationship and it's still going on forever. In the energy world, you could sever a relationship instantaneously. I don't know what inspired that relationship. Some part of yourself was actually saying yes to that, even if it wasn't at the conscious level. So our human mind, we think we know what we want. We don't know all the extraordinary layers and dynamics of our soul. And all the, the different layers of lifetimes and experiences that we are simultaneously having as we are living a, a simple or even not simple human life. So there's a lot more going on that some parts of you know about that other parts don't at the conscious level, okay? <laughs> that was actually on the level of attachment. It wasn't necessarily attachment. It was more of like a, an agreement. Like you were both working on it. It wasn't like... It was attached to you per se. It definitely was attracted to your energy. But it did It did seem to be a little put off realizing that it was affecting you in a negative way. That's not the first time that I've come across, even in my own experiences, alien beings that aren't aware of how dynamic the human body and the human energy field is. They aren't aware that they're hurting you. They think that they're just learning about your energy field, but it doesn't have any effect on you as a human. I've, I've had experiences like this personally. So you just simply have to talk to them and then help them become aware and you'd be amazed at how many times they're actually expressing a version of apology like we didn't understand or we didn't know. And usually these are from alien beings who don't relate to the expansive emotions that human beings have. So... Don't be too hard on them, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and relax here and we're gonna see what your energy field looks like and I am gonna explore this. I also wanna look at your depression, anxiety, any other fears that you have beneath the surface about alien beings. Um, really explore ways to help you feel ready for joy because believe it or not, there's some aspects of yourself that are choosing to feel shrouded, choosing to be separated from that. And we have to find out why they're choosing that. And so everything in our life, as it doesn't always seem like that could be possible, 
Like how many times is your mind saying, I want to be happy, but yet some other parts of you that are actually choosing everything that takes place in your life, even things that don't make you happy, or why can't I feel happiness? What am I doing that is not allowing me? Or why is life giving me all these experiences? Believe it or not, you attract literally everything. So we had to understand why you are attracting the feelings that you're attracting and, and what we need to do to go through that, to break that down, to truly set you free from yourself <laughs> is really the way you got to look at it. Okay, okay, I'm ready here. Get some water. Get in the zone. Okay. Hmm. I will say your energy field reminds me of the last time that's it's different in that it's not taking the long way around. It feels more straightforward, but it's like I'm running into a scab. That's literally what it feels like a wall that is a scab. And there's a lot of scared um, feelings about what's on the other side of this. I'm just going to throw this idea out there. Is it possible that you had a part of yourself wanting to maybe too overwhelmed by emotions with gifts that are um, empathetic? Emotions can feel very overwhelming. There was something that that being was doing to help you with your emotions as in to curb them, to mute them, to create more of a robotic dynamic, but you also were doing it too. Again, conscious mind, what is going on beneath the surface? And we've already put a stop to that. You're already saying, I want a different dynamic. So all that that we saw is already, we're, we've moved past it. So now we are in the next energetic dynamic. Every time that we're doing a session here, we are moving dimensional planes and moving consciousness. You're very conscious from one dimensional experience to another dimensional experience. And dimensions aren't just, you know, third, fourth, fifth. That's an easy way of, of talking about conscious levels. But dimensions are infinite bajillions, forever and ever dimensions. Because you choose your experience. And so your experience is its own dimensional reality. And you can ascend to higher dimensions. So you could have um, aspects of yourself in every single dimension, which you do. You have aspects of yourself in every single dimension. But as we're doing a session, we can move aspects of yourself to higher dimensions, okay? As we continue to work on bringing more love in, finding the vulnerabilities in those other lower dimensions, and then bringing those to higher dimensions. So you ha are an infinite person. <laughs> so there's a lots of versions of yourself exploring lots of different experiences. And the more of those versions that we can access, which we access a lot more than, than you could imagine, than even words could define. <laughs> we access a lot, okay? Um, and so that's why you're gonna feel shifts ev every time after a session. So, I needed to tell you that, that you were okay with that, the building of this robotic structure. You were part of that choice, okay? Because it was creating safety for you, because it was supporting you in some way, it was helping you to cope with being human. Let's just say that. But it was really done out of fear and insecurity. And something else triggered that in you at a much younger age, which could be exactly what we were talking about with those memories from Vermont with the alien beings. 
because there was definitely a trigger of fear that rippled through even into your future, okay? Because it shifted the way that you chose to approach life and express yourself. Now you're shrouding yourself from the light, from the love, from self-expression because of a fearful event. It's trauma. I think I was talking in your session about trauma. It's almost like there's trauma going on in here. It's a, t it's a type of post-traumatic stress <laughs> in your energy field. So it's going to take time to adjust that. There was something about safety and security. I'm running into this, okay? And that was all taking place to help create feelings of safety. But really, it was just backing you into a darker corner and shutting down your emotions in order to cope with life, which is the opposite of what you're really wanting to accomplish, okay? Okay, this is going to feel very uncomfortable. This has to do with your solar plexus chakra. And it's you have some definite entity stuff going on here. This is a different being. I need time to figure out what this is all about. This has to do with your solar plexus. This being is creating a lot of tension. And I mean, it's almost like t tightening things down, just making it tighter and more tense, more uncomfortable, wanting you to feel this way wanting to you to feel uncomfortable. Now, if you face this entity, who's wanting you to feel uncomfortable, you, and you have to face him with neutrality, you can't face him with anger, you can't face any of them with anger. It doesn't it doesn't work in the energy world. Getting angry at them does not work at all. It does the opposite. And being loving towards them isn't quite right. You have to be neutral. You have to find out why are they there without an emotional vulnerability. You have to state what it is that you want out of life and why they aren't representing that. And since they don't represent that, then they need to go. You're at a very vulnerable place. So you being able to do that would be extremely hard. It would take you a long time to learn the technique. Okay. I've been learning this technique over a very long time. Even for me right now, I feel a bit shaky because his energy is so like his vibration, his frequency is so like not nice. He's not nice at all. He's rotten and foul energy. He's encouraging you to not face your fear or fears. He's encouraging anxiety. He's encouraging you to want the robotic energy structure. He's encouraging this. The thing is, is you are powerful. You don't realize that we aren't taught that as human beings, how powerful we are. We're actually masters of the universe. There's different levels to that awareness, but on the energy side of things, the more we become aware of our, who we are and what we are, and now we can, we can state what it is that we want and what it is that we don't want. And that is honored that fast. It is honored. It depends on how emotionally vulnerable you are to the connection that that creates a, a glitch and whether that follows through or not. I'm pretty strong. So in my stance and I'm kind of like helping you. So it's like you're you and me are working together. So when I say no, then you kind of are saying no at the same time. So <laughs> I'm here for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, this being is so awful. Like I can feel it in my very ankles. <laughs> it's strange. It's the weirdest feeling. It feels like my legs, like I could have like a irritable leg syndrome or what is that leg? I don't know. Like my legs just keep wanting to move around. My my calves bother me. My um, ankles bother me. My heart flutters. I just feel like, like uncomfortable. I just feel like that. That's what his vibration is doing. And this guy, how long has he been in your energy field? So you can imagine how your physical reality is going to feel with that going on. I'm still working on this, okay? Yeah, he's like showing me, like I can hear the sound of breaking bones. I can hear 
the sound of things drying up and he just keeps wanting to show me that he's breaking many bones. That's the image that comes to me about him. So I'm still calming him down as well. Because he can say whatever he wants. This is more of a spirit being than an alien being. He's also got the back side of your solar plexus as well, and I can feel it a bit on the back side of your heart. He is he is not not nice at all. I'm just in awe that you've been putting up with this for so long. He's giving, he's like very exhausting on my eyes. He's creating um, like a headache in my third eye, a lot of pressure here. So I'm just continuing to stand firm. And this is me, I'm just sending out love. So he's sending out his stuff and I'm just sending out love until he exhausts. He, he will get exhausted from standing up to me. That I just keep sending out love. So this is me uh, receiving his, his nature, what he's like, okay? Until he shifts and he will shift here. He has also a connection with your sacral chakra. He's all, he says oh, so many mean things. He likes to get you to react as well. He likes to get you to be very angry. And then feel like you have nowhere to go with it. And to continue to put yourself in a corner. He has a, a full control over you. That's what he's like. He's He owns you. He controls you. It's because of him that, you know, you are the way that you are today. He's proud of that, but... Pff, he's number one, I guess. <laughs> it's like, oh boy, cool. <laughs> You're number one. I'm meeting number one. Neat. I don't find that makes you special. That's what I'm saying to him. Because he's he's like, he's trying to, <laughs> he's uh, reacting to me. So I'm telling him that. Okay, I'm gonna have to really think here. My guides are showing me that the, the structure, there's an energy structure, this being, so this is to teach you a little bit more about energy. Okay, so I need to get a pen and paper so I could draw. <laughs> okay, but um, so this being has been vibrating all this vibration into you for how long? I don't know how long because I'm in a space without time. It's hard to tell how long. And this is a spirit, more of a spirit being. So it's closer to an infinite dim dimensional experience, okay? So you've been digesting this. It's like eating rotten food every day. It's going to take a toll on your body. It's like eating McDonald's for lunch and dinner every single day for 10 straight years, okay? It's going to create, your, your body is going to mold and shape itself around the food you're consuming. So this is now in your energy field, okay? In your solar plexus primarily is the start of what I'm seeing. He likes to really mess with your emotions. And so, so this relationship has been going on I don't know how long. But his vibration is like food that you've been digesting and building your energy structure around it. How did he get here? I I don't know how he got here. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> but they're showing me that there's quite an energy structure buildup. 
it's like not brushing your teeth and then the minerals build up and you go to the dentist or like it's like plaque or whatever. Like this guy is giving you energy plaque. And so it's creating an energy structure that we got to break it down, which is going to release your connection from him and his connection from you. Okay. Let's see if we can find out how he got here. Um, he's here to teach you how to stand up for yourself. So you could see him as a spirit guide, a really nasty one. Spirit guides are very benevolent and some spirit guides are really nasty. But he's teaching you how to become stronger. He's, he's basically attacking you and breaking you down and taking the power away from you. Which makes it that much harder, right? Or you just get so sick of it that you just step up already. So you're going to. You're going to do it the right way. <laughs> Somehow, some way. It takes time to learn it, all right? But becoming neutral and not hating him for being himself is the best technique. You needed to hear that. You needed to hear how did he get here? Why is he here? So I was telling you about something inspired. It's like a post-traumatic stress event that inspired a need to create security or safety inside yourself. It's interesting because it's like woven into the like fibers of years of your life. And that's what inspired these weird structures, a robotic way of analyzing everything, you know, analyzing it. So how is this person going to judge me? It's like really knowing people around you and kind of suiting your personality to meet their personality, but it's like way too much work, too, way too much energy involved, not allowing you to just be yourself. All the while, this is sort of like some type of safety or security mechanism. So anyway, events happen that change our energy. So he's um, attracted to the change. And now he's uh, continuing to do his thing. Because there was a weak point. And that weak point was calling him to support your growth process. <laughs> by making it harder for you to grow. But that means when you face him, which we're going to do together today. That means when you face him, that you're going to see him sayonara. You know, see him, let him go sayonara. <laughs> sayonara sucker. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're going to grow that much. You're going to go from like this to like really big, really fast. Okay. He's uh, quite exhausted. I've been standing here just continuing to send energy even while we're talking, okay? He's really, really exhausted. I mean, I feel how exhausted he is. It's reaching me because I'm tapping into him. And his energy makes sounds that now I'm listening to the sounds of his energy and it's like, wow, I am exhausted. That's because he's exhausted. Okay. He's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So he's actually gone. Okay, so do you believe that? You have to learn how to believe that. If you don't believe that, then he's not gone. That's the power of standing firm in your truth and what you believe. You have to, you have to know that he has gone inside yourself. He's gone. <laughs> he's definitely gone. But is he gone to you? So no amount of me removing him is, is going to change whether you believe he's gone or not. You can bring him right back anytime you want. But already we're changing your energetic balance and energetic flow, which is going to make it harder and harder for him to come back, even if you're having a hard time letting go of this awareness. Because your mind's going to be going a mile a minute after you watch this, and it's probably going to freak you out a bit. And so... That is you thinking about him. That is you making a direct connection with him. Whether you realize it or not. But you have a right. And you're protected by your angels to have a time to vent. Okay? And you need to vent. Anybody needs to vent. But work on letting go of that. Vent it out. 
vent it out, ask yourself some questions. What bothers me the most about this? Remember, you can't get mad about your own learning that you needed. So this guy is just there to help you. So I know it's frustrating, but bring it back to the reality that he was actually helping you become a stronger person and you are becoming a stronger person. So you had to see the good in everything. That will help also let go. And there's so much more interesting stuff to look at than that guy. <laughs> okay, so much more. I can tell you've been really subdued for a very long time because I'm running into people living in your energy field, basically. <laughs> okay. I'm looking at this structure. It's kind of like the shape of a C in a way. It's got a something with the third eye and then it comes out the crown and it comes down the back of the spine. I can feel it connected to all the chakras on the back side. It even comes down and up. So it's connected to the root and the sacral chakra. But I mean, I can, I can feel it in the front too, but it's like a weird red, um, like the shape of a, a letter C. So a lot of really, I can feel his the echo of him in this energy. And he's uh, really put his energy stamp in here that you're never going to get, you're never going to transmute the energy. You're never going to let it go. I'm going to be in your energy field forever. You're going to have to suffer with me forever on and on and on and on and on. So there's like thousands and thousands of echoes of his nasty voice in here saying those things to keep you in a state of debilitation, to keep you imprisoned. Again, he's helping you, okay? <laughs> he's helping you by hurting you, which is empowering you to stand up for yourself and let him go. Okay, there's more stuff here. <sighs> No wonder you didn't want to be, no wonder you're just done with earth. I don't even know if you've ever known what it's like to be kind of human because there's just so much in your energy field. And it's, it's so controlling of you, of your ability to feel and be a joyful person here. It's not like everybody's happy. We're all struggling with a happiness, right? But this is like, this would be very hard to even keep going every day. I mean, let alone with that guy and that other alien being was was actually had a niceness to him, but that was a very confusing thing as well. All right, there's new entities, okay? They're kind of silver metallic and they're small. There's multiple ones. They have really big bug eyes. They're not like the black. They're not like those gray aliens. These are different. These are like a, a silvery metallic with big round eyes. That are like eyes. I want to understand... I want to understand the dynamic of your energy field that it is so, it has so many relationships going on inside of it. <sighs> Where's the relationship with yourself? I mean, where are you? Where are you when it comes to this guy? Where are you when it comes to these little beings? Where are you? I'm actually looking for you right now, just so you know. Where are you when it comes to these beings? I'm talking to your consciousness, saying, I need, to, I need to see the version of you that is aware of these beings. I need you to come out and explain to me why these beings. There's something about these beings that are, that are kind of like a door stopper on that other guy's letter red C energy and me transmuting it all the way 
they're like an odd door stopper so they're kind of um assisting and holding that energy in place they have something to do with your third eye and crown chakra i'm just going to touch each and every one on their third eye Again, it's, it's starting to bother my ankles. It's so weird. It's very, very unusual. It's like my ankles and my calves. The back side of my calves, my ankles and my calves. Like, there's energy stress there. And uh, just me continuing to transmute whatever this is, it's like very sharp prickly feelings just all over my, right by my shoulder blades on both sides. No wonder you've built up such an emotional reaction towards alien beings, not just because of the memories, but there are, you definitely have weird relationships, like you have relationships with other beings in your energy field that are not joyful, that are not pleasant, that are not benefiting you. They're not like bringing in the angelic energies here. Now they're starting to illuminate like that the sacral chakra is starting to say, I'm also, I also feel their presence here too. So they're kind of in the C shape as well. They're intertwined in it. They're kind of like a door stopper for it. <sighs> All right, here you are. You have red eyes and you come in as a black shadow and you will kill them. <laughs> that That's fine. Like you need, this just needs to happen, okay? So you're starting at the top of the letter C. We're kind of in third eye and crown area and there's these, let's just say they're like eight of them. Maybe two feet tall each. They're short. I say, what are you going to do, really? You're not, you, you have a, a, you definitely are angry, but you would never hurt anybody. <laughs> so sweet. Because even here, you can do whatever you want. Like, you can do what, literally whatever you want. We can reverse time and then start over again. But you're coming in full force with all this anger and you will you will kill them, but you don't do it. You don't you just stop and just stand there and look and you're like, Yeah, I won't kill them. And it's like, you know what, you're learning something here. It's okay to have emotions. We ha we need places to vent as human beings. We also need time to neutralize those emotions and then work through some a different type of balance. All right, now this is where it's coming back to the sacral chakra again. There's something going on here for sure. It has a sexual energy to it. I I feel like I've been wanting to go in the sacral chakra, but there's, it's just, is it your, you resisting knowing what's going on in there? Is it too much, you know? It feels like me not going there is because you aren't ready to know what's going on in there. You seem to, there, there seems to be a lot of buildup there. I really want to go in there, but I, there's just this, like, resistance. So... <laughs> I'm going to actually ask you if you feel safe for me to go take a look at your sacral chakra now. I say, 
you can come with me. We're going to go together. These silvery guys, they're, it, they can, they're not going to hurt you any more than they, there's nothing new going to happen here. You can't do it. You just can't do it. You... You can't go. You can't go there. And I show you that you can go there. Any moment that you want to look away, then look away. It's like being a kid watching a scary movie. Like, just look away if you can't cope with it. This is the most powerful approach to healing that we could ever take is finding some courage to even look just a little bit at something that we can't cope with. You're starting to turn a purple glowing black cloud and the rage is starting to come back to you, but you won't ever hurt anybody. You just become very angry and look quite, quite intimidating, but you never do anything with the energy just builds up and then it disappears and then you become very weak again is what it's like. It's not weak to be neutral, but you it's like you become weak and, and like upset with yourself that you can't do anything about it, that you can't get this to stop. And I say, but you get you hold all the cards. It's your energy field. It's like having squatters in your house. But this is the energy side of things. In the human world, for some reason, we can't kick the squatters out. They need a place to live, so we have to, to pay for their rent. In the energy side of things, we can kick the squatters out. There's no rules here that say we can't. This is your energy field. You hold all the cards. You tell them what to do. Okay... This is you right now. A lot of anger, you're venting, frustration. It's almost like doing the right thing many, many times only to discover that you really caught yourself up in a weird web that was entirely taking advantage of you to a point that it's such a web you have no idea how to get yourself out of it and you've been kind of manipulated and wound up in it for so long you don't even know where to begin you've kind of lost yourself along the way you've lost your truth and your power you just don't know what it is you can't remember what it is and so I don't know if you know, I see this when it comes to kids in an astral, like, you know, go to sleep and in the astral they make friends with the monsters that are there or whatever, they have experiences with them. Um, there can be, these monsters can be very convincing, can seem like your best friend, but really they're just trapping you. And you can do this without realizing you're doing this because it's happening in astral and you're very close to being human even when you're in astral you're taking your human mind with you and so we can develop these relationships even from a very young age without realizing and then not even know at this point how to let go because they've been there for so long you're kind of expressing that that's what's going on here that something about these beings and some other stuff that's been going on and why the other that other guy and then that other guy <laughs> all you have so many you, you you have like a call like a whole society going on in here like right at the surface that is unique that is very different usually i run into people's vulnerable emotions to their human lives or to other lives but here it's relationships with other beings in your energy field. But let me, you're, this is just what you're expressing and venting out, okay? Let's see if you can go in your sacral chakra. I'm telling you, you're doing a really good job. You're doing a really good job. 
you see you're simply venting already you're talking to me about what doesn't work for you what you're frustrated with what you don't know how to do see now we're getting somewhere we're discovering some things do you want to go now to your sacral chakra you're really not sure I'm placing you into an orb of light and it's just pure angelic energy and you're kind of like a balloon okay so I put you in a safety and secure like a safe and secure space it's an infinite space so it's not like you're in a tiny little place you're in an infinite heavenly space and I'm taking you with me like I'm carrying a balloon and taking you with me in your sacral chakra I don't it, it there's a reason why I am I don't want to call this forceful, but I'm supposed to get you to go in there. You need to go in there. That's what the energy keeps saying. No matter how bad it is, just to take just a tiny peek is going to make things a lot better. It's going to help you big time. You're turning pretty nasty inside this because the closer I get to your sacral chakra, I mean, you're growing claws and sharp teeth. You're trying to rip your way out of this orb. You're screaming at me. You hate me for this. It's just, it's like you're you you're on the roller coaster. You got talked into it. And now why I'm about to go down the scary hill? Why did you do this to me? I hate you. Why did you talk talk me into doing this? I hate you. I hate you. Ah! <laughs> That's going down the scary part of the roller coaster. Okay, this is how you're reacting to me forcing you to go into your sacral chakra. It's like you don't like this. We're gonna, it'll be okay. You gotta trust me on this. It's better than a scary roller coaster telling you it's gonna be okay. It's, it's like there's more people in here. There's a lot of people in here. That's what it's like. First thing that comes to me is there's like people here. I'm not, and I'm talking like, a lot of people. All right, the image that comes to me, and this doesn't mean they look like this, is there's thousands of black pennies in here with black wings. And they're people. And they kind of remind me of black butterflies, but they're like bats in a cave, okay? Okay. And so bringing the light into the dark cave where all the bats are, the bats are in hear the sound and the, the light that comes in, they're going to freak out and they're going to scream and they're all going to fly out, right? These beings are like, you just don't go in this place. You just don't go in this cave here. I remind you that you're safe. I'm taking you and placing you into my heart. It just You just really can't cope with the exposure. Even being like a little balloon here. Nothing can get you. Nothing can hurt you. I'm just carrying you with me. And now I'm breaking the shell of the orb. And you are now in my bodysuit. And we're going to go in here together. This is the... this. There's a reason why this is distorted. Because I, I feel like what I'm looking at, it, there's truth to it. There's definitely people here. What are they about? What do they really look like? I feel like there's a weird um, slime or film over my eyes, so it's you couldn't ever really see. You wouldn't really be able to tell. This is bothering my third eye as well. It's bothering my throat. I tell you that step one is we came in. A round of applause. <laughs> Step two, let's just think of like happy things like cute little bunny rabbits and rainbows, right? And soft little furry kittens. And happy things like silly penguins. They're so cute and silly. We just seem to keep thinking of happy things. And we place these happy images here. This is all we have to do to start changing the energetic flow. This is very draining. Because I can feel that what we are putting in is creating a response. I 
and I'm gonna have to do this blind so I'm just touching the hearts and the minds of all of the that's here okay and there's I have enough hands for everybody and I'm placing love into all of them as I'm doing this in your sacral chakra it is having a direct impact on your solar plexus extremely loud I can totally feel that happening I feel like this is just the entrance. This is just the beginning. This is like just cleaning out the cobwebs in the front entryway. In comparison to what is if we keep going deeper here. They say we just keep going. We just, we're doing everything right. Don't put a label on just, we ha don't say it has to be a certain way. Just let it be exactly this way. This is powerful stuff here that we're doing. <sighs> Very exhausting right now. You're... <sighs> Just a moment. ask you if you want these black pennies with wings here if you don't want them here just say so and I'll collect them all and I'll take them out I need you to state to me what is it is that you want in your own energy field you're stating it not from the conscious mind you're stating it from this deeper part of yourself okay i need this deeper part of yourself to state what it is that it wants it's just it's almost like the lips were sewn shut it's not allowed to speak for itself and i say nobody has the power to sew your lips shut you make the choice then to say my lips are not sealed my voice is functioning, I choose to speak now for myself and on behalf of myself. That's how you take your power back. So I'm erasing that image with your lips sewn shut and I show you your lips are not sewn shut and you speak for yourself. And you show me there's yet another thing on the back side of you, another being that is controlling you. And I just say time out, which means I'm stopping the flow of all energy. And it's just you and me. And I'm saying, why, why is this happening? What caused this to happen? I need to get to the root of this. They seem to have convinced you that they were going to help you somehow. And they're not, I mean, we're talking about I'm, this is so many entities, it's like layer upon layer upon layer, and they're all intertwined. So how many do I know about? How many do I not know about? But there's some of them that you seem to think we're going to help you. It's like I was saying about kids. They make friends with the energy monsters, and those energy monsters were helping them, right? They weren't. They were just kind of... Um, Manipulating them. Somewhere along the lines, you... You started to bring in beings that would help you. But these beings weren't, weren't there to help you. That guy, the really angry guy who was wrenching tight your solar plexus... He was, he knew exactly what he was doing. He wasn't going to manipulate you at all. You had a moment of weakness. He came in, took advantage of that. Now there's others that were, you were kind of asking for help and they kind of took over your energy field. But you never knew what your power was because you're still running based on the rules of the human world, not the rules of the energy world. The energy world, you have so much power in the energy world. The human world, 
you can say no all day long and the human being will spit in your face. They'll spray paint your walls. They'll burn down your house. Human beings don't take no for an answer. Entities have to. They have to because you own your own energy fields and you decide what you want, what you don't want. <laughs> Human world is really complicated. <laughs> starting to, me telling you that, it's, it's starting to turn the wheel of your mind and you're kind of that weird slime over the eyes is starting to dissolve and you're acting as though you get it. You get something here. Something is a memory or an awareness of your own self-empowerment is coming to you. Still, I mean, you're definitely becoming more aware, but there's some other part of you on the inside of you that is asleep. She's trying to wake up, but she creates a bit of a dreamy state. I'm going to have to take her out. So there's the sleeping part of you, and there's this one that's trying to become empowered and strong. The other one is just like sleeping and it's like sleeping under water. Her hair is kind of everywhere and she's like a dreamy state energy. We're still in your sacral chakra, just so you know. All those black pennies have all, they're all just kind of lying on the ground. Like they don't have any energetic purpose anymore. They aren't active. They are energetically not active. I can still see them, but they're not, they don't create any energy flow. feel like there's you feel like there's more you're trying to remember you're trying to see more because for somehow some way they all interwrote together so me clearing one out I had to find the connections here there's something else also in the mid to lower back side of you Man, you have not, it's like, you've been living like Harry Potter in a closet, and you have all these other hooligans running the house, and then telling you to cook their breakfast, and forcing you to just live in a tiny little space inside your own body and energy field. This is an extreme case of entity attachments, I mean, extreme case. I'm looking at the one on your back. It's your lower back side, okay? It's mid and lower back. I'm just sending love through those. Um, they're kind of like cords, energy cords. I'm just sending frequencies of love through them directly to that being. I don't want to get, I don't want to take too much time to look at all of this. I just want to keep going deeper. The deeper I go into your sacral chakra, I can simultaneously feel it in your solar plexus. It's all black. Um, it's squishy everywhere. And it's not, it's like a black cave, but it's squishy everywhere. It's really interesting texture. It's a cylindrical tunnel. It's really closed tight and we're coming through it and there's this open cavern and it's also made out of squishy and it's all black. I ask you why, why everything? Why has this series of events taken place over the course of your life to get us to this point because you have the power to change everything right now you know that your lips are not sealed anymore you're able to speak for yourself what is this dreamy version of you she says it's the part that wants to let go of this life to move on so she's already fallen asleep so she's already 
basically she's choosing a state of death, okay? But she hasn't transitioned. She's still here. And she does not want to wake up either. Because she doesn't want to wake up. This is the nightmare. And she doesn't want to wake up to the nightmare. They say the only nightmare is when you don't choose to stand up for yourself in your own energy field. It's your house. Kick everybody out. Kick all these rent, this bad renters out. They aren't paying their rent. They're <laughs> taking advantage. <laughs> They're eating everything in the fridge. They're <laughs> get them out of here. <laughs> You, you have, you still care about them for some reason. I mean, you're expressing to me that they, they have been treating you in these ways. Yes, they've made you angry. They made you a prisoner in your, inside yourself. They've done all these things that you still see the good in them. That is the next thing you're saying. And I say it doesn't matter if you see the good in them. Just send them away. I need you to send them away. It's getting thicker in here. It's getting harder to breathe. It's getting humid, hot. It's starting to fill with a weird liquid. It's I feel like I'm drowning or feeling like a strangling type feeling in your sacral chakra with this other version of you and the sleepy, dreamy version of you. And I still see all these points on this letter C. And so I step into you, so you're in my, you're, I'm, you're wearing my energy bodysuit, okay? So we are standing in the same shoes as each other. And I'm showing you how to let go. I'm saying you don't have to understand anything. All you know is these beings are here, don't want these beings here anymore, and that's it. The more you try to make sense of any of this stuff, the more you hold on to things you'll never make sense of. The human mind can't make sense of this stuff. That The sooner you can learn this to just let this stuff go, the more you can start working on focusing on the things, the simple things and the joyful things in life. So I say, silver guys, and I put them into an orb and then like throwing out the trash. I'm just lifting them up and out of your energy field, okay? That creates an emotional reaction in you. On the inside of me, like like you failed them or something. I'm just looking at the weird entity entity at the lower. He's kind of cream colored and he has no eyes. He has arms though and legs. And I'm just saying weird entity. I just put him in an energy orb. And I just throw out the trash. I'm just disconnecting. And I say, thank you for everything that um, you've taught uh, taught us. It's time to go. Time to go. You're gone now. And I say, we're going to clean up the mess here with these weird black... I still see them, like... like um, freckles, black freckles now on the ground. So we're just gonna put them all into an energy orb just that fast. It didn't, I didn't have to get the dustpan and the broom. You just choose it. It's already in the energy bag, you know, throwing out the trash here. Just put it into an orb and take the orb out of your energy field. So we're taking that out of your energy field. I say how, see how easy it is to make a choice and then 
see the choice is done, and now move on to what it is that you do want to focus on. All right, I'm just going to wave this energy, this weird letter C. I'm just going to wave all of this energy, just wafting it, okay? It's moving it, it's messing it up like it's breaking it apart. Disconnecting it, breaking it down. We're going to fill it with light and love. But this is genuine, okay? This isn't just words, light and love. This is genuine, happy moments. This is cute kittens. This is baby bunnies. This is like true joy. It's like memories of going fishing with grandpa. It's baking cookies with grandma. You know, it's like it's showing your parents what, what an awesome athlete you are. It's like, it's stuff like this. It's like real genuine memories. And we just fill this, this energy structure up with real genuine memories of love and light. I'm going to put this sleeping you into just a time room, like a, a, a space with soft and beautiful things and angels are going to be here to watch over you but i'm going to wake her up and so she's not waking up into a nightmare imagine waking up to the, these entities and all this stuff and you just can't cope with it you just just knock me out and wake me up when it's over okay that's kind of what she's like so we have her in like a time room and I'm here with her, and it's just a perfect temperature, perfect soft bed, um, beautiful music playing. It's it's like a garden around here. Um, it's beautiful. Angels are here. Heavenly energy. It's super safe. And I'm just literally kind of touching your hair and your head and telling you that it's okay to wake up now. It is safe to wake up now. She's somehow a part of your heart here too. She is truly a part of you. She has so many bad memories behind her eyes, like things that she remembers. And she can't make the memories go away. She doesn't want to see those memories anymore. I tell her that... This isn't about you not seeing the memories anymore. This is about you taking time to feel peaceful. And when you feel peaceful and you feel safe, it'll get easier where you could just look at a small snippet of a memory and cope with that memory, take some time with it, and then when you're ready, look at another one. The memories have to be looked at. But you get to look at them with support and love. She doesn't want the memories to change her into somebody she's not. She wants to stay bright, but she can't. It's hard to stay bright. I say, don't worry about it. It's like so many of us don't want to fall apart, but sometimes falling apart is the only way to break down and then rebuild yourself. Don't worry about the process of healing. She has, there's, there's a lot to her dynamic. It's almost like she has multiple versions of herself. There, some of them are already standing, walking around. They're like black shadow versions, walking around and exploring this time room. And what's going on here. I'm actually going to place each individual one into its own separate time room. I just feel like they need to be separate from each other for now. This this one black shadow one has some kind of negative influence. It's too negative. I need these need to be need to heal alone with with themselves and support. 
So I'm putting each one, let's just say there's five total U's. So I'm going to put each one of you into your own separate time room. And in this time room, it's an infinite space, access to all the love in the universe. Um, beautiful gardens, beautiful streams, oceans, whatever you want. Um, it's, it's all here. Dolphins that can talk to you, kittens, like whatever you want. It's here to help support the therapy and the healing process. It's helping the other you that's still in your sacral chakra. It's helping her to open her eyes again. And it's just her in here. She's kind of the mother figure of all the other yous. Trying to take care of everything, but it's just getting too overwhelming. I'm spreading her out across all your chakras. Her consciousness needs to be a part of everything so she doesn't feel just by herself. She's a part of all the support of each chakra, which is an infinite universe. I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to just take you up dimensionally up to a higher dimension. I'm just going to get you out of that old energy. All that old energy, I'm just completely moving you out of it. So you have some fresh air. And just so you know, there's no echoes of anything that I have seen in your energy field. There's no echoes of that. So it's just you, and, it, and, and so you just, all that stuff is gone. Put it in the trash bag, took the trash out, okay? It's just you. And you have these versions in the time room, so what happens to them? They need to just stay there until they feel ready to return to you. And that could be next week, that could be next year. Don't worry about it. You're all that you need to be right now. You don't need to be any more or any less. You're already all that you are needing to be right now. So this is just the process. For me to just combine all this and just send you on your way, that would not help because these different parts of you need therapy, okay? They need spaces, safe spaces to heal. They've been through too much. So we just give them that. And then when they're ready, they'll just return to you naturally, okay? You may or may not be aware of when that happens. <laughs> all right. That's all I can do. This was such a... Man, you are setting yourself free here, okay? <laughs> hmm. I'm just separating right now from your energy field and coming back to myself. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of energy work. And there was a lot of trauma there that's been, you've been familiar with it for way too long. So taking it out, um, you should automatically feel awesome, right? But there are some massive energy structures that are being broken down and just expressing themselves in new ways. So you could feel very exhausted from this, okay? It could even feel like you, their scab just ripped off. <laughs> it could feel a little bit painful because there's the healing here is so, it's get, getting so deep into so many aspects of this lifetime alone and many layers of it and setting you free from yourself, like getting to know who you are without these entities, entities, it's, you can imagine that's a lot in one hour's time, <laughs> okay? So you're going to have some time to process this and and adjust to a different energetic flow, okay? All right. Thank you very much for this experience. Thank you for sharing. For those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.